Alright, so this is going to be part 7 to What If Asta Had Sunshine. And I know that this series has been, you know, put on the back burner for a bit. It's been around 7, not 7, uh, well, that would be way too long. It's been around 5 months since my last part, which is part 6. So yeah, I understand it's been a long time. But just like the other other two run, um, longest running series I have on the channel, that being What If Deku Had All For One. Um, and what if Deku had the Black Eye virus? Basically, when it, when it came down to it, it was me not re-watching the series and basically getting caught up or making new series and you know putting these on the back burner so I won't I wouldn't get bored with them. And yeah, since this is my farthest along series, at least for Black Clover, they're um this is this part's gonna be kind of a uh, a transitional part to basically the big fights so in this one we're gonna go over um kind of the in between so that we don't have to put this part or this stuff into the main kind of video so yeah so the last part we left off was um where the wizard king basically told asta and yami to go and get the magic uh stone i believe from the water temple so that's what they do they get ready the next day and basically they tell the squad that they're going to the ocean and for them to get ready so everyone packs their things that they usually do just like how they did in the anime and gosh not not gosh gordon doesn't come just how he does normally he gets left behind at least in the anime so when they get there, they're kind of just freely having their own thing. Noel would have still bought the swimsuit to get Asta's attention, but Asta, being him, being you know, this being the daylight and him being a lot more cocky and self-centered, I guess wouldn't really pay attention, but instead take this time to train just how he does in the main series. Also, I forgot to mention this, but. Uh, there's this really good idea that I saw in one of my comments saying uh, what if Mario Leona adopted both Yuno and Asta and I was just wondering if you guys want that since I could I could have the you know the setup for how she actually adopts them but it has to do with a slight spoiler in uh, the future I guess or it has a slight spoiler that if you haven't read the manga you wouldn't know but I'll try to keep it as spoiler free as I could, at least for that kind of setup, right? So, yeah. Uh, so, Asta wouldn't really pay attention to Noel, and this is where Noel would try to shoot Asta to get his attention, but it would misfire and actually hit uh, Magna. Magna would tell her, You still can't control your magic? And she would explain that no, she couldn't because without her wand, she can only really use. Um, you know defense spells so uh eventually yami would come and basically get mad at the squad for taking time off when it's not a vacation but instead a mission so he tells noel that she needs to go and practice her magic because she's the only one that can really get her or get us down there uh the best way because she has water magic so he's betting on her to basically learn her spell so that she could or control it so that we can uh, so that they can go down and go into the water temple so at basically she's been practicing so she's practicing her kind of i think it was sea dragon's cradle uh yeah i believe that was what it was called and she's just practicing and she keeps trying to hold back right the mana that's out and every time she tries, it just dispels and she can't really do much. So eventually, Asta, in his like midnight kind of training that he would be doing, would come up to Noel. And this is at night, so like I said, he would have, or like I said in the previous parts, he would have, I believe, moonlight magic. So he's a lot skinnier than he is uh, during the day. So he would basically tell Noel that. Uh, you know, he could help her since, or he would be a little bit more harsh to her since it's at night. If you don't remember the personalities, 
uh, I basically described in one of the parts he would basically tell her like you know how how you're not you know getting control of it you know it's not that hard I have two types of magic and I'm able to do it and she would kind of get mad at this like pretty mad and she would tell her tell him that well it must be so easy having so many uh, of having so much mana and having two types of magic and this is where it also would say well well you're the royal aren't you supposed to have you know so much magic and be uh, great at magic and no one would get even more of a set from this and she would say like why bother I, I can't do it and she starts to walk away and this is where also would kind of pull her back and, and he would say you know if you want help uh, just try to go all out and if anything happens I'll be there to stop it and she's like okay uh, fine so she does it a few times and still doesn't get it and this is where someone starts singing and they never heard anyone sing like this before and she's on top of a mountain or not a mountain but a few kind of rocks and they don't know who this person is and they find her her song really enchanting and eventually she notices that they are watching her sing so she gets a little bit embarrassed but quickly comes down to kind of uh basically she likes the attention so she's like oh my gosh i you guys were watching i i didn't know that's so embarrassing well there's nothing that could change it so hi my name is um kahano i believe that's how you pronounce it uh of I've been reading the manga mostly for to kind of quickly uh, get up to speed with the latest stuff so or to get more information faster so yeah I believe it's Kahono so anyways uh, that's basically what she would say and uh, they she would ask them you know why or first off they would ask her why she's coming out to sing this late at night and she would say that she's actually training to be a idol which is, if you don't know, it's someone who is basically almost a living icon in like Japanese culture where they are song and dance performers that are very popular. At least that's the general kind of term. If you watched anime before, you're pretty no one. You, you'll know what I'm talking about. So they don't know what that is. And she basically explains what it is with the song and dance and things like that then she would ask you know why are they two out here and they would basically say that uh, Noelle is trying to practice her magic so that they can go down below or not really they wouldn't say that part because that would be kind of classified they would only say that she's trying to master or control her magic so she would say a similar thing to what Asa said and or not, not exactly she would say that you know, whenever I practice magic, I usually think of my happiest memory to do so. And both of them get thinking, or think about this for a second. And they're like, happiest memory. And also, obviously, thinks about um, Sister Lily while, uh, well, Noelle just thinks about all the mistreatment that she's had from uh, her family. That being Nozelle, uh solid i think and i forgot the other one but yeah she basically doesn't really know what to think of and she finally thinks of you know the all the happy times that she's had with the black bulls and this is where she says i you know i can't do that or she starts to do her magic and also says to let loose because if anything happens he'll come and save her so she's like fine this is what you want and she unleashes all of her mana or she starts or she stops restricting herself and the mana starts her her kind of cradle becomes larger and larger and this is where the rest of the black bulls would come to aid her by cheering her on as they see that she's kind of losing focus you know they would all be saying like noel you can do this um, you know each of them doing their own kind of thing basically encouraging her to stay and do the spell so eventually she would have to stop 
and this is where Asta would catch her. After this, the entire squad would be cheering for Noelle, and this would give her quite a bit of a confidence boost, given that she was able to complete the spell, and everyone is congratulating her on that. So, she remembers what Kotoho, I forgot her name, the, basically the, the, the girl with the singing magic. She remembers what she said about, you know, your happiest memory. And she realizes that she's had more happier memories with the Black Bulls than with her family. So after this, we would get to the next day and Yami and the rest of the Black Bulls would be ready to go to the underwater temple. Noelle would activate her spell, everyone would get in it and they would go towards the bottom of the ocean. She would be concentrating, uh, keeping her magic secure as the ride would be really bumpy and they would really comment on this. Asta wouldn't really be too affected by this since he is pretty, I guess, not easily moved, I guess you could say. So eventually they would get to the spot where they would need Asta to kind of split it apart because at this point, Yami does not have a uh, dark dimension slash, I believe it was called. So they can't really remove the space. So what they do instead is they have uh, Asta basically go and slice it with Rita. Because he has a lot of, you know, um, I get um, like heat based magic to kind of move or kind of evaporate the large amount of water that's there. Or at least weaken it a bit. So that's what they do. They throw they throw Asta out there to kind of cut it. And at the same time. Asta would tell Yami that he's a, he doesn't know how to swim. But if Fish can do it. He could obviously do it better. So they would get to the point where he would cut it. And they would get through. This is where they would meet the uh, underwater kind of. I, I forgot exactly if their race was some it was called something different but let's just call them you know the water people I guess uh, so he would meet up with them Yami would be really intimidated or re really intimidating and he would ask for their leader uh, they would just straight out give out the location that you're looking for this uh, you're looking for the I think it was the grand priest or the priest that um they want so yeah i'm gonna end it here i know this part was short uh short it's just that this part there's a lot of filler or i guess a lot of setup to the actual fights and things like that so in the next one we'll go over the fights and yeah so this second half of the video was actually recorded on a different day this was the uh april 4th and i think i recorded this on like march 30th or 31st I don't remember but yeah I didn't record you know the f a couple days because it was my birthday and I just didn't feel like doing much on the day before so if you're wondering when's my birthday it's April 3rd I didn't really want to make a too big of a deal of it so yeah um so after this uh I am gonna do basically what if you know, or what if Austin and you know were adopted by Mario um, Leona? I already drew like my profile picture. If you've seen it, I recently drew it. Um, if you've seen in my community tab, you'll see like the different versions I have. And yeah, I really like it. Hope you guys like it. Remember, if you went, you came to the uh, end of the video. Remember down. Remember to comment down CS so I know that you support the channel. And if you want more content, please subscribe. And if you like this series, please give it a like. And with that being said, it's coming in the video. So, yeah.